Today we're doing the Elements book cover tag and I was tagged by Jess over at Foolish Oats. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of the same books you've been seeing in my past couple of videos just because I have a very limited selection here in my dorm room but I still had a lot of fun doing this tag and I hope you guys have fun seeing what books I picked. <laughs> the first element is water and the first challenge is to find a book with water on the cover. I picked Jumba Lahiri's Interpreter of Maladies. The entire front cover appears to be a lake or river of some sort. It's a very large body of water and I really like how they managed to use water on the cover but it's this really dark gorgeous sunset purple color. I just I really like this cover a lot. The second challenge for the element of water is to find a book with blue on the cover and I picked Winter's Tales by Isaac Dennison. This is for my World Lit class. I have not read this yet. I believe it is a collection of shorter stories. Yeah, it's a short story collection and I really don't know anything else about it but it has a really lovely darker blue cover that I like quite a lot. Our next element is fire, and the first challenge is to find a book with fire on the cover. I picked, of course, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is the Penguin Drop Caps Classic Edition. You guys know how much I love the Penguin Drop Caps, and I think you've seen me show this book several times in several of my videos. I really love the way that the fire works on this cover, and I just love how Penguin manages to give each book its own unique style, but they still work together as a cohesive unit. And each detail tells you something about the story. The next challenge under the element of fire is to find a book with red on the cover and I picked The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. This is probably one of my absolute favorite book covers of all time. It's so simplistic, it doesn't give anything away about the story, and it's really abstract and fascinating to look at. Like, I really love the way that The Catcher in the Rye is packaged. I think it doesn't give away a lot about the story, but it's so indicative of the story. And I don't know how you would manage to do that. It's just, I love this book cover so much. The next element is Earth, and the first challenge is to pick a book with something related to Earth on the cover. I picked Jeffrey Eugenides' The Virgin Suicides. I love how a photograph is incorporated on the cover, but it's not a photograph in the sense that it gives you images for the characters. It just gives you a sort of image to work with for the entire narrative of the novel. And it's really lovely with the rest of the cover, which is solid white. The next challenge under Earth is to find a book with green on the cover. And I picked Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. Up at the top, the tree roots are this really creepy green color. And that gives such a creepy feeling to this book. Like, looking at this book cover makes me unsettled because you have the very dark cover matched with this bright blue and this kind of eerie, almost ghostly green and it gives the entire novel a very unsettling feel just by looking at the cover. The next element is air and the first challenge is to find a book with air on the cover. So I picked The Archived by Victoria Schwab and I picked this because of the smoke that's incorporated onto the cover. I feel like that's pretty indicative of air. I really like how this face is made up of smoke. I don't know, this book cover is just fascinating to me. I, it tells me nothing about the story, but it gives me a really cool vibe and makes me really want to read it. The next challenge under air is to pick a book with white on the cover, and I picked Ordinary People by Judith Guest, which is almost entirely white. I really have a thing for books with a lot of white on the cover. I really have a thing for anything with a lot of white, interior design, clothing, anything really, and this book is just lovely. Then we have the bonus challenge, which is to find a book with red, green, white, and blue on the cover, and I guess this one kind of counts. I picked The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. I do have this in the Penguin Drop Caps. I bought this to give to a book drive, and I just haven't gotten around of dropping it off yet. We have the red down here at the bottom and then this kind of red orangey color inside the mason jar and then there's white, green, and blue made up in the background on the front cover. 
I really love how this book cover is a painting. I really like when books manage to incorporate some kind of painting or landscape or portrait onto their covers and make them work really well, and The Secret Life of Bees definitely does that. So that was the Elements book cover tag. I'm not going to tag anyone because this tag is super old and all of my kind of booktube friends have already done it, so uh, I'm just not going to tag anyone, but um, if you guys want to do this tag, definitely consider yourself tagged. Go ahead and do it and link me your videos in the comments below. Or if you've already made an Elements book cover tag, link it to me in the comments below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye!